Good morning, y'all. Wake up. I'm up with you. I ain't messing with y'all. God bless y'all. Uh, y'all keep on taking y'all time, inhaling and exhaling. You gotta keep breathing. Uh, and take the good with the bad, because life comes with good and bad. Uh, work. So, uh, work. So, you'll be all right. Uh, take the good with the bad. It's, it's going to be some things you don't understand. That's what Proverbs 3, verse 5 through 6 come in. Trust in the Lord with all your heart uh, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will direct your path. You ain't going to have it all figured out. Sometimes, quite often, you're going to be asking the Lord, I don't understand, Lord, but just give me strength or whatever. Get, get me through. You see? And uh, as you spend time with him, he'll teach you better than anybody else can. He'll show you. It's a time. It's a time for everything. <laughs> e class is chapter three. He'll show you. Well, that's why I love to spend time with the Lord. And don't get too hard pressed about things not being right. <laughs> things gonna be right sometimes. Things gonna be wrong. All right, you'll be all right. <laughs> all glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven, the Lord Jesus, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to what's due. Amen. What's today? Wednesday. I believe, yeah. Wednesday, February 22, 5.06 a.m. 2023. It is early. <laughs> I want to go back to sleep. <laughs> Where that? <laughs> uh, what was I going to do? Uh, that was something I was going to say. Something funny. Uh, but I don't want to be fun. I like that movie, The Best Man. Sure, y'all probably seen that jump. <laughs> Where <laughs> that's a funny move, man. I like that move. I like the dude who that, that football player dude. I can't think of his name. Lance or something. Where dude, dude he, he saved or whatever. <laughs> dude, wild dude though. <laughs> he, he do be having a whole lot of girls. <laughs> he getting married. <laughs> that's a funny dude. What I like about the movie is what I, what I really like is Lance had a he had a friend named uh, Harper or something. Yeah, his friend named Harper, and Harper didn't believe in God. <laughs> what I really like about certain parts is it was a scene when Lance was trying to talk to Harper about God, and Lance was like, "Man, I don't believe in God or something." And Harper was like, "Man, you know I don't believe in God or something." <laughs> and Lance he ain't argue with him. He said he just said he, he changed he changed his conversation and started talking to him. You know, <laughs> a whole lot of people be arguing about God or whatever. <laughs> You know, what's, what's really real is when you can sit down with people of the world and not argue about the Lord. You know, what 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 would you like about the movie, Devonta? What I like is, is when dude he he cheated on his girl Mia or, or something, and he 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 got his friend to go in the bathroom with him and read the Bible. Uh, <laughs> I I forgot what verse he read, but he said something about it. I, I forgot what verse he read. <laughs> I can't think of what verse dude read, but he had his friend read it to him. And then he said uh, he was telling him about how, how much he 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 willing to forgive his girl if she ever cheated on him. And he said, "Dang, you will forgive her for all all her sins just because of your faith in God." He said, "Wow, <laughs> you know, <laughs> his actions his actions are way more effective than talking. Yeah, because you can talk to you blowing face. <laughs> I know that's just a movie, but I'm just saying." It's, it's truth behind that. Your actions speak louder than your words. It's, it's some things, it ain't a time to always talk to people. You see what I'm saying? You gotta, and a lot of, you learn, look at the movie. Dude ain't argue with his friend. That's his friend. You see what I'm saying? I know sometimes we like to argue, get mad, upset. We want to prove somebody, show this and show that. It's not the time. Be a friend first. You hear me? Be genuine and real. Your actions will win them over if you really real from your heart. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> it was this old lady who, who it's, my great grandma uh, used to tell me this story about this old lady who used to come sit down with her, and this was, this was the uh, this lady was saved. And my grandma didn't, used, she didn't, she not, she didn't, she didn't used to like when she come around. <laughs> this was before 1969. <laughs> yeah, she said this lady used to come sit down with her, and she, my grandma used to drink. She said the lady don't drink, and she want to sit down and have a drink. <laughs> the lady just come down, be so nice and sweet. Every now and then she will talk about Jesus or whatever. I can't think of the lady's name. <laughs> Where? Right. What I'm telling you, it was something special about that, John. True friends will sit down with you and ain't going to argue with you. Your actions speak louder than your words, all right? Okay. I guess I'll go here. I finished talking about uh, man's religion. Man and man's religion fall short of the glory of God. 
uh, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. All right. Uh, in all religions, uh, there are many people who did not understand God's word, uh, Jesus Christ. Yet they were saved by grace through faith, not from ourselves. It's, it's the gift. It's the it's the gift of God. The prophet Muhammad accepted Jesus as a prophet from God and agreed with Jesus on many points, yet he did not understand Jesus Christ fully. You have to have the Holy Spirit of God to, to reveal that to you, who Jesus is truly, who, who Jesus truly is. And if you accept God's word, Jesus Christ, Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. Nevertheless, there are many who accept Jesus as a prophet, but they do not do what he says. Uh, therefore, no more... Uh, will be revealed uh, than what has been. And if you reject God's word, step one, uh, and if you reject God's word, step one, that has been revealed, you will you will never get step two. There are many rules, king, there are many rulers, kings, who accepted God, who accepted God, yet rejected God's word. Therefore, stopping God from revealing, stopping God from revealing, working in their lives, hindering their teachings, life and view of God, and in, in their view of what God meant, meant slash said. King Saul was a great example. King Saul accepted God, yet he rejected God's word. The Lord took his Holy Spirit away from Saul. You see, King Saul was yet he was still saved in the end. Hallelujah. The Israelites, the ones Moses led into the wilderness, accepted God, yet they rejected God's word and to go into the promised land. Therefore, they spent 40 years in the desert. Stuck in one spot in life, in the wilderness, in the desert. I wonder how many people right now stuck in one spot in life because they're not, they not doing something God asked them to do. You hear me? You're not going to be perfect or whatever. We all, we all going to mess. You're going to mess up and make some mistakes or whatever. But it's a whole lot of people who not as far as they should be because they're not doing what the Lord wants them to do. They, they, they're not doing something. You hear me? I'm talking about the Lord's people. I ain't talking about people in the world. I'm talking about God's people in particular. You hear me? The people who have a relationship with the Lord. It's something because because the Lord speak. <laughs> Jesus is not a mute idol. <laughs> he not some he not some statue that don't talk. <laughs> he real. He 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 speak every day as much as the TV speak. <laughs> as much as the radio and much as somebody talking to you, he speak to you. <laughs> you and most of the people most of the time people to, they they block them out. They're not listening. They got the world on. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. Listen. Uh, <clears throat> but the people spent 40 years in the desert because they rejected God's word, you see? Leaving them stuck in one spot. Um, yet God saved them in the end, amen, hallelujah, and brought them into the true promised land of heaven and, and eternal paradise. Thank you, Jesus. You see? God is a good God. Hey. God told the people to go into the promised land. They never went. Physically, only Joshua and Caleb. They was the only two. All the rest of them, 600,000 people died in the desert. Now, all their grandchildren, all their grandchildren, everyone 20 years and younger, all of them, the Lord allowed them to go into the promised land physically. All the older people died, but God took them to the real promised land. The true promised land, the one he, the one he told Abraham, the one Abraham made his home by faith in the promised land in heaven. That's, that's what that's what the Lord always been talking about. But anyway, Saul, Saul the Apostle Paul was a religious man. He had the right religion, <clears throat> uh, as far as an education and religion, uh, as many do. Uh, he even had God's word, yet he was rejecting God's word. Did you catch that? Saul had God's word, yet he was rejecting it. What you mean? <laughs> he didn't understand it. It's possible you could have God's word, but you could be rejecting it because you're doing, you're doing something your way and not God's way. It happens quite often. Without the Holy Spirit, you got rules, regulations, routine. <laughs> you're going to try to do it your way, not God's way. <laughs> you hear me? It's a whole lot of stuff I don't understand. <laughs> you hear me? That I, I, don't, I don't dive into because I don't understand. <laughs> you hear me? Until he revealed it to me. I ain't going to mess with certain things like that I don't understand. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Listen. But it's, you could, uh, Paul, uh, before he before he was the apostle Paul, he was Saul. He had God's word, yet he was rejecting God's word. You see? By rejecting Jesus. 
Uh, he was killing Jesus' people, trying to trying to destroy the church. Philippians chapter three, verses uh, three one through uh, Philippians chapter three, verses one through fourteen. Yeah, Paul had the right religion. <laughs> Word, word. You can be in the right religion, have the right laws or whatever, and still be far away from the Lord and not understand it. Paul said in Philippians chapter 3, uh, verse 4, If someone thinks they have reason to put confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, in regard to the law, a Pharisee, as for zeal, persecuting the church, as for righteousness, based on the law, faultless. But whatever gain, but whatever were gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. Amen. Word. Uh, and in Galatians, uh, Galatians chapter one, Paul said he was advancing in Judaism. <laughs> he was advancing. Rapid. I can read it if I got time. Yeah. Paul was a very religious man. He had the right religion, had the right God, yet he and had God's word. Yet he was yet he was rejecting Jesus. <laughs> Why? He didn't understand. Many people. Uh, Galatians chapter one verse eleven. Paul called by God. What the title say? Paul said, "I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel I preach to that that the gospel I preach is not of human origin. I did not receive it from any man." nor was I taught it. Uh, I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it. Rather, I received it by revelation from Jesus Christ. Amen. For you have heard of my previous way of life in Judaism. <laughs> well, hey, I'm glad ain't nobody really uh, did the jump. You can find Judaism one time in the Bible. I just read it. Okay. I said I said on a few of my on the last two you can't find Judaism in the Bible. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> Judaism is in the Bible, but Paul was religious. Most people, as I say, Abraham never mentioned the word Judaism. He wasn't religious. I made a mistake. I will admit I made a mistake. But anyway, the whole point is the people never made a big deal about. Uh, going into Judaism. Most of the people who talk about Judaism, Christianity, or Islam, as far as like, <laughs> they make a big deal about it, they are religious because there's a whole lot of people who are not Christians, but they save. <laughs> there's a whole lot of people who are not Jewish, but they save. There's a whole lot of people who are not uh, Muslim, but they are saved. How was that? <laughs> They're doing something the Lord asked them to do. Jesus told a story about the sheep and the goats. There's many people who was not of Jewish uh, faith that are saved. The faith of the centurion. All, all the people in the, the uh, Christian community know that story. The faith of the centurion. Uh, that, that, that lame dude, when Jesus, when those, those four friends brought dude to Jesus, <laughs> where? Uh, I'm telling you, the, the Lord, uh, the, the parable of the, of the Good Samaritan, where? <laughs> I'm telling you, those are examples of people who are not religious yet are saved, okay? But listen, I made a mistake. <laughs> uh, Judaism is in the Bible one time. <laughs> but it's, the point is, it's not about religion. God don't care about religion, okay? But listen, Paul was a religious man, okay? Listen to what he's saying. For you have heard of my previous way of life in Judaism, how intensely I persecuted the church of God and tried to destroy it. I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my own age and my people and was extremely zealous for the traditions of my fathers. But when God, who set me apart from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me so that I might preach him among the Gentiles, uh, my immediate response <clears throat> was to go consult any. Was my my immediate response was not to consult any to consult any human being. I did not go to Jerusalem to see those who were apostles before I was, but I went to Arabia. Later, I returned to Damascus. Then, after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to get acquainted with Cephas and stayed with him fifteen days. I saw none of the other apostles, only James, the Lord's brother. I assure you before God that what I'm writing to you is no lie. Then I went to Syria and uh, Cilicia. I was personally unknown to the churches of Judea that are in, that are in Christ. Uh, they only heard the report. The man who formerly persecuted the man who formerly persecuted us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy, and they praise God because of me. You see, I like that. Paul had the right religion. 
He had uh, the right God. He had God's word. <laughs> he was getting far. As, as, people, as many people in the church, you would see in the church on TV or something, you would think they're getting far. There's a whole lot of people got a lot of followers or a lot of people uh, in the church or whatever. <laughs> you would think these people doing something. <laughs> Shoot, you can have all that stuff. You can have thousands of people in the church and not one person saved. So, <laughs> why? But anyway, uh, Paul thought he was getting far. Uh, right religion, right God, uh, right word, yet he was rejecting Jesus. Yeah. But anyway, um, Paul accepted God and God's word uh, in his own sense, as many do, uh, as many do. What was, uh, as many do, what was the, Y'all forgive me. I wrote this really fast. Paul accepted God and God's word in his own sense, as many do. Um, but he was in opposition to Jesus. Okay, <clears throat> He was in opposition to Jesus. Saul was against Jesus. Uh, he was against Jesus. But God, who was rich in mercy, amen, saved him anyway. Acts chapter 9, verse 118. <laughs> Saul was on his way to Demaeus. Uh, hallelujah. The Lord Jesus blinded him. <laughs> There are many who accept God, yet reject God's word. And there are many who accept God, yet reject God's word and did not and, di and did not understand what God said or meant. Romans chapter 3, verse 23 through 26 say, All sin and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by his grace. Amen. Uh, there are many rulers, kings, messengers, prophets, teachers who fall short of the glory of God, meaning they, they did not understand God completely. Uh, but God, who is rich in mercy, saved them anyway by grace. Amen. Ephesians chapter two, verses eight through ten say we saved by grace, which comes through faith. And this is not from ourselves. It's a gift. It's a gift from God. I love that. <laughs> we saved by faith, which comes through grace. This grace is, is John chapter one, verse 17 say the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. <laughs> the grace of God is Jesus Christ. I, I, I love that song. Some woman got a song. It say, uh, love got a name. Joy got a name. Jesus. I can't sing how she do. I ain't going to even attempt to try to sing. But uh, y'all, if y'all know what I'm talking about, I love that woman who sing that song. She say, love got a name. <laughs> Joy got a name. Jesus. I love that. Faith got a name. Hope got a name. Love has a name. Joy do has a name. Its name is Jesus. You hear me? Literally. Word up. All that stuff is found in Jesus. Word. It has a name. The king has a name. The saved has a name. His name is Jesus. Word. Listen. I love that song. That's, that's, I like that. I like that. Word. Uh, yeah. Grace, grace has a name. Jesus. Word. All right. The grace of God is Jesus Christ. All right. Second Timothy chapter one, verse nine. I, I like that. Y'all forgive me. Mm. Around March time, man, them allergies started to mess with me. I, I, them pretty flowers outside. <laughs> I like to go outside work in the yard. Them flowers eat me up, though. Especially when I see them pink, them pink flowers in the street on the sidewalk. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Them pink love rope, them pink love flower petals on the sidewalk or whatever. I know it's time to get the medicine, man, because it's about to turn up. I'd rather be hot than cold, though. So. It is what it is. But anyway, where I'm going to? Second Timothy chapter 1. Ain't nobody talking to me. It's all good. I'm forgetting where I'm at. It's early in the morning. Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 9. Uh... Brother Paul said, he has saved us and called us to a holy life. Amen. Not because of anything we have done. We didn't do nothing for God to save us. I love that. It ain't, it ain't one person that did anything for God to earn God's favor. Whoever did anything for him. You hear me? God, last time I checked, God sent his word. God sent somebody to the person. You hear me? Word. We don't do nothing to earn that. That's the, it's the grace of God. I love that. Don't nobody do nothing to earn it. Yeah, listen. 
He has he has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of any of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose. Amen. And grace. This grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of the world, before the beginning of time, before time began. <laughs> before time began, God saved us in Jesus Christ. It's hard to explain that one to you without the Holy Spirit. You hear me? It's hard to explain that to you without the Holy Spirit. Before time began, God already saved us in Jesus Christ. Anybody who passed, God is a God who dwells. You know, we waiting on time. We humans, we don't understand this. I was gonna do, I was gonna, I was gonna do this junk a few weeks ago, but I didn't want to lose nobody or whatever people think be worried. But anyway, y'all ever see a map of, of the world? Where you can look up on, on you can look up on your phone a map of a, of earth and you can see earth okay boom imagine this is a map and you see earth right there boom you, you can scroll in do that zoom in thing and you can see the earth right there you can look you see the states or whatever we right there somewhere okay imagine taking a picture and blacking out just keep on backspacing and you see the picture earth okay we right there on earth somewhere you can't see us moving around <laughs> you see what i'm saying all right I'm, I'm just saying talking about the eyesight as far as being far out far out we, we, it's hard to see us <laughs> i was left i was laughing about that men in black movie I think it's Men in Black, uh, Men in Black 1, when they was looking for that galaxy thing, <laughs> where, and that little dog messed them up. <laughs> they was looking for the galaxy, the, the people, they was looking for that galaxy. Listen, <laughs> and they went to that dog, and the dog said, man, the galaxy on Earth. They said, what? What you talking about? How the galaxy on Earth? The galaxy is hundreds of billions of stars or whatever. That, that little dog said, when you humans going to realize and understand, just because something is very important don't mean it, it's not very small. Important things can be very small. Listen, I said that's, that's crazy. I said I said I, I listen. Let's, let's, listen, I'm an artist. You can't make up something. You can't. It's hard to make up something that's not true. It's hard to draw or imagine something that's not true. Listen, the dude said the galaxy on Earth. <laughs> he, the dude said what? The galaxy, hundreds of billions of stars. What you talking about? <laughs> he said you, you you humans. When are you gonna understand and realize that just because something important don't mean it's not very very small. <laughs> God, if he wanted to, he could, he could, he, he can do it. He can put everything inside of, he can put, whew, I'm telling you, <laughs> that's John cool. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that, I said, I see the concept and I like that. Or I said, he can do that if he wants to. I said, because we like inside of a box. You know what I mean? We think we big and running around. We, I'm telling you, we stuck on earth, bro. If you was the backspace out on earth, you can't see us on, from right here. If someone was flying on earth or whatever in the, in the sky and you see this, you, you can't see nobody on earth, bro. We like, we, Okay, this is what I'm saying. Do y'all pay attention to ants? <laughs> we small as ants, bro. Word, and, and to, to the side of the world. We, we are very small. I'm just saying, the next time you go outside and look at an ant, and that, that ant look very, very small, go go stand across the street. Go, go up the street. <laughs> go two blocks up the street and imagine an ant down the street and go to try to look at it. That jump all the way. You can, it's, it's like it don't exist. That's how small we is <laughs> in, in, where, with the, in the system or whatever. <laughs> we just, you know what I mean? We, we just, where? But anyway, God is a great God. <laughs> it's hard to, it's hard to, he's very complex, but he, he, make, he make his way, it's but I, I just like, I just, I like, I like that. I said, that's kind of cool. But anyway, um, where was I going to go to? Yeah, see, I'd be thinking. <laughs> um, oh yeah, God is a God who, he he don't dwell in time as we do. We live in time. He live outside of time. The time don't exist to him. You see what I'm saying? Word. But anyway, you lose your mind trying to understand God. You can't. I, I like I like that part in the movie about that men in black junk. I said because that's it. I like that because that can be done. God can do that if he wanted to. Word. People don't understand. Y'all seen that movie? Uh, I don't want I don't want to lose y'all. Second Timothy chapter one. Verse 9 say, he has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because but because of his own purpose. Amen. And grace. This grace was given us uh, in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time. Amen. But it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior, Christ Jesus, who has destroyed death and, and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Amen. I like that. All right. Uh, let's take that time. Um, the 12 disciples had Jesus right in their face. <laughs> the 12 disciples had Jesus right in their faces. 
uh, and they did not understand who Jesus was completely. <laughs> it does not surprise me that the prophet Muhammad did not understand Jesus completely. Uh, the prophet Muhammad was born 500 years after Jesus. You hear me? He read from the book like he was reading from the book like as we do. Right. <laughs> but I do I do love the fact that he accepted Jesus, and Jesus is mentioned in the Holy Quran. He is he is he is listed as a prophet. <laughs> I love the fact that the Prophet Muhammad didn't reject Jesus completely. You hear me? <laughs> he just didn't understand him. As many people who as many people in the church who go to church every Sunday, they, they don't understand a thing about Jesus. They talk about Jesus all the time. Jesus said, uh <laughs> Jesus said in one of the John's uh it's gonna be many people who said, uh, what's the jump? Hold on. It's Matthew chapter seven. Bear with me. As many people in the church who talk about Jesus all day, <laughs> they talk about Jesus. Jesus don't know them people. Well, he know who they is, but not the way they talk. Matthew twenty, uh, Matthew chapter five, Matthew chapter seven, verse twenty-two. Uh, Matthew chapter seven, verse twenty-one. Jesus said, "Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven." But only lo but only those, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name drive out demons, and in your name perform miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Jesus said he's gonna tell a whole lot of people plainly. I never knew y'all. What you talking about? <laughs> Y'all ain't never worship me. Y'all ain't never put y'all faith and trust in me. Y'all ain't never wake up and take me at my word. Y'all ain't, when things was hard, y'all ain't look to me. Y'all look to the world. Y'all look to this and that. Y'all ain't never one time come to me. Y'all did things in my name. I can care less about that. A whole lot of people use my name. They use my name to make money. Use my name for this and use my name for that. I can say I'm a billionaire. That don't make me one dollar richer. Word. Uh, there's a whole lot of people in the church who don't understand Jesus. I'm not surprised that the Prophet Muhammad did not. I do. I am glad he accepted Jesus. Word, and he used Jesus, and he and he, he he accepted Jesus as one sin from God. Word, he 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 obeyed his. He 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 understood his teachers. He he liked his teachers. He just he got lost with the, the Son of God thing, and that would lose a whole lot of people. He lost the, Jesus lost the people, uh, it, his own people with that word. But I love the fact about that, that, that the Lord used the prophet Muhammad. And I'm telling you, they, he, the Lord told them to put that rock right there. Uh, for this, for the Muslim people, listen, that, that black stone of Mecca is the exact same thing God did for the people with Moses, with, with that bronze snake, that black stone of, of Mecca. The people try to touch it by faith. The Lord told the people if they try to touch it by faith or that if they believe they touch it by faith, that uh, the Lord going to uh, give them enlightenment on, on the day of their death. I believe that the people died in the in the old Judaism, the old Judaism, the, the, in, the in the old law of the Torah from Adam uh, to Abraham to Moses, uh, so on and so on, up until the time Jesus came. They died. And when Jesus came, he went to hell for three days when he died to talk to preach to those people to reveal himself to them because they had to, to they had to see him and know him personally. You hear me? And he'll do the same for them. And so a lot of people who did not understand Jesus, but still God revealed himself. Jesus stepped in and revealed himself to them. He'll go to the ends of the earth. Screw the ends of the earth. He'll go beyond the ends of the earth. He'll go all the way to hell to get you if you belong to him. You hear me? And them people that was in hell, they weren't in, they weren't in the torture side of hell. They was in the paradise side. You hear me? Because they couldn't go to heaven. God had a spot for them uh, in, in hell, and that you ever hear in the old, in like the old war, in the old war movies, like uh, in that movie Three Hundred, when uh, Leonardo, when he died, he told he told the soldiers, y'all drink up because tonight we dine in hell. You know what I mean? They, they was in the old in the old days. It was a, it was a spot in hell where people like it wasn't a bad part. You see what I'm saying? Like they but it's Hades. All people know when, when he died. All the people went to Hades. You see what I'm saying? They all realized and understood that. 
about the afterlife. They all had to go there to be judged or something. Even in the Egyptian uh, junk, the people go down to that it's like an afterlife place and they go to this little hall or something. You see what I'm saying? Where they to be judged or something. I'm telling you, all the people, they believe that in the old days, like they all go to Hades first. You see what I'm saying? Before they go to the place of, of judgment. You see what I'm saying? Uh, because you had to you had to go down there first. But anyway, even Jesus himself went down to Hades to, to get the people, to preach to the people down there. I love that. I love that so much. God is a good God. But that black stone of Mecca right now that the Lord used the prophet Muhammad to put right there is it's written. You look it up on your phone. The people believe it's, 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 that's that picture. We see, it's a black stone right there. And it'd be a hundred thousand people trying to walk and walk around. The people believe if they touch the stone by faith, if, and if you can't touch, at least put your hand down and try to touch it by faith. When you die, the Lord, God, Allah is going to give them enlightenment on their deathbed. <laughs> well, listen, Lord, the Lord is going to enlighten them. He's going to show them who Jesus, who Jesus Christ is. He's going to show them everything that Jesus was meant, sent here to show the people to do. Jesus is the fulfillment of the law. You hear me? <laughs> Jesus is the main key component, component of everything God ever wanted the people to see. You hear me? <laughs> I'm telling you. How do I know what I know? How 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 am I lining up Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, and seeing seeing the work of God in all three? Because I got the Holy Spirit, and then the Lord let you see the things He was trying to do through the people. You know what I'm saying? Man and man's religion falls short. Man become legalistic and make routines in religion, and they don't understand what God was doing. They end up worshiping something that that was never meant intended to be worshipped. Word, there's people in the church worship the church, and the I'm telling you, the 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 temple, the worship. Word, the, the the church people know that they caught up in systems. God never intended for people to be caught up in systems. It's all intended for a person to be saved by faith. You hear me? But I love this. That black stone of Mecca is the exact same thing that God did with the old people in the old days with Moses and uh, that bronze snake. It was a representation of Jesus Christ. They didn't understand that. They don't understand it today. You hear me? It's the representation of Jesus Christ. You hear me? You saved by grace, which comes through faith. And this is not from yourself. It is the gift of God. You hear me? God going to lighten them people. <laughs> One like that big. He going to reveal himself to them. All right. But anyway. I'll give y'all 10 more minutes. Um, it does not surprise me that the prophet Muhammad did not understand Jesus completely. But I'm glad he accepted God, Allah, who is rich in mercy, and Jesus Christ. The Prophet Muhammad is not perfect, uh, was not perfect, and did not understand completely, as many don't. But he accepted Jesus as a prophet, amen. You see? In Luke chapter 10, verse 24, Jesus said, Many wish to see what you see, but didn't. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 3, uh, verse 18 through 22. Uh, Peter chapter 3, verse 18 through 22. Uh, what is that? I don't know what that was. I just got it right there. <laughs> My mind's somewhere. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 3. I have no idea what that is. 1 Peter chapter 3. Second Peter chapter, first Peter chapter three, verse eighteen. Okay. Se oh, all right, all right. Second Peter chapter three, verse eighteen through twenty-two. Brother Peter said, uh, "For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit. After being made alive, he went and made proclamation to the imprisoned spirits." To those who were disobedient long ago when God waited patiently in the days of Noah while the ark was being built. In it, only a few people, eight and all, were saved through water. And this and this water symbolizes baptism. And this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also. Not the removal of dirt from the body, but the pledge of a clear conscience toward God. It saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and, and is at God's right hand with angels, authorities, and powers and submission to him. I love that. You see? Jesus Christ is able to make a way. He is the way. Amen. He revealed himself to those in hell. I'm sure he is able to. I'm sure he revealed, he revealed himself to the prophet Muhammad and many others. Amen. It is possible. I believe it. It's many who did not understand what God Almighty Allah sent Jesus here to do. 
Romans chapter 3, verse 21 uh, through 20, uh, 31. Uh, Jesus uh, is here for our sins. Amen. Isaiah 53, verse 5, say Jesus died to heal us, to forgive us. Amen. To give us life, joy, peace, and peace with God. Romans chapter 5, verse 1, uh, we have peace with God completely through Jesus Christ. Amen. Not religion, sacrifice, uh, worldly sorrow, but through Jesus Christ. You see? All you have to do is repent to Jesus once, not a thousand times, just once. Jesus did it all. Uh, Matthew chapter 9, verses 12 through 13. Mark chapter 2, verse 17. Luke chapter 5, verse 31 through 32. All say that Jesus said, go learn what this means. Uh, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I come. To, he did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Amen. That's what the Lord wants. Word. 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10. Y'all bear with me. I don't know what I wrote or what this is. 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10. Say, godly sorrow brings repentance. Uh, godly sorrow brings repentance that leads to salvation and leaves no regret. But worldly sorrow brings death. You see? <laughs> People who won't be people who be sorry about what they did, they not repent. It's a whole lot of people who sorry about what they did, but they not repent because <laughs> they think about it all the time. That's worthy. They they you sorry if you got caught doing something. <laughs> you you ain't sorry, but you ain't repent if you just sorry because you got caught. You see what I'm saying? Word. Then start crying or whatever. <laughs> Get mad and upset. That's not repenting. The whole lot of people start crying when boohoo and stuff ain't going their way. That's not repenting. <laughs> Word. When you repent, you ain't think about it no more. You ever went to somebody, or, uh, you got, if you got a relationship with a girl or somebody, or you got a girl with a dude, and you go to them and you say you saw, you know, and you meant it from your heart, you're not thinking about it no more. Why? Because you really meant what you said. <laughs> Versus you just saying you're sorry, and you doing something stupid again. Because a whole lot of people say sorry, and they do, this, they do this something stupid right back again. They not, why? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? When you repent to the Lord, he take it away. He not forgetting. He, he, he clear your conscience. You see what I'm saying? Uh, all you have to do is turn to Jesus. Who else is there to turn to? God spoke and told us to listen to Jesus. Seek Jesus and call on him. Without Jesus, you just have laws and, and religion uh, that'll leave you miserable, which is not what God intended, uh, which is not what God intended. You see? Uh, <clears throat> I can read this. Uh, you see? Romans chapter 2. Uh, that's a whole different jump. It's not the same jump. Yeah, without uh, without Jesus, you just got laws and religion, man. <laughs> uh, it's gonna leave you miserable. You see what I'm saying? That is not what God intended. Some people think Jesus want to kill their joy. <laughs> Why not, nah, man? Listen, <laughs> and I'm telling you, even even people who who claim they know the Lord, they get legalistic. They try to do things. They try to take Jesus too far to a point where Jesus ain't even tripping. <laughs> Word, word, I'm telling you. But uh, without Jesus, man, you just got laws and routine religion that's going to leave you miserable. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're always going to be trying to do something. This, you ain't like you can't live your life or something. <laughs> word, Jesus came to, so Jesus came so you can live your life and live it to abundantly. <laughs> word. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, I guess I'm going to stop there. But yeah, as many people who didn't understand what God was trying to do or show them, uh, and that's cool. Because uh, it's hard to understand the Lord all the way through and through. <laughs> Even I don't understand a lot of things. It's just it's just one junk. I, I could say I could say. It. Well, anyway, this is this is junk I was writing like a few weeks ago. Like I can't finish it until the Lord really showed me because I I don't understand it. <laughs> or it's this is junk about the blood. You see what I'm saying? Uh, about this, it's about the Lord's blood. That junk's special. It's something, it's something special about the blood of God, about the blood of Jesus. It's power in it. Uh, one of y'all ever see that that place where you go give blood at? Uh, people can give blood to save life. You hear me? <laughs> it's life in the blood. That's why the people would be doing them and wear routine rituals or whatever. They they want blood or something because life in the blood. Even they understand that <laughs> where they they that's where they get it from. You see what I'm saying? Because life is in the blood. It's in the Bible. The Bible says that the the human life of a person is in the blood. Your actual, your actual life, the life that you have, like, yeah, like imagine you got a bar, 
ten percent, a hundred percent, you lose your life. Your life is in the blood. Like we're literally, where your life, your your life system, whatever is literally in your blood. Where if that it's hard to hard to explain that to you, but it's real. Where it's something special about the blood of a person. You see what I'm saying? It's something special about the blood of God. Where if you if you dying or whatever, and something you need blood, somebody can give you blood, and it actually will save your life. You hear me? If it's the right blood type or whatever, but it will save your life. You see what I'm saying? It's it's, it's life in the blood, literally. You can save somebody's life if they give if they give blood. Do that word that makes sense to y'all, right? It's life in the blood. But it's like I'm telling, you, I, I can't finish what I'm writing because I don't understand it all the way. I'm not no where I don't understand. It. But where it's, it's something special about Jesus' blood. You hear me? Because the life is in the blood now. Jesus is godly. You hear me? He 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 is God Himself. His power is. is listen, where I'm telling you, I, I got to stop talking about it because I'm going to finish and I can't finish. I don't understand it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I just told you. There's a lot of people who don't understand what God showing until He revealed the next step. You don't. You know what I mean? Where you can try to go to your own thing about it, but I, I don't understand. <laughs> you see? That jump pretty cool, though. Where. Done pretty good. I had to. It, it, I just. It's just been sitting for like a few weeks. I ain't touched it because it, it drive me crazy trying to figure it out. That I don't understand. <laughs> Somebody gonna laugh, but where I'm telling you the honest guy's truth. I do not understand that. Drunk, it's special though. Whenever he get that drunk to me, where? Uh -huh. But uh, yeah. So it's okay. All right, it's okay. All right, y'all keep on asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to you. He's going to give it to you, the Holy Spirit, leading you to the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be on with our Father in heaven one day. And we're going to get up out of this place you dig. Uh, where? Till then, y'all keep on taking y'all time and be patient. And keep on praying for me. I keep on praying for y'all, too. And uh, y'all will be all right, man. Y'all will be all right. I'll see y'all again. Amen.